Hi, in this video I'm going to give a run through of Metrics product reporting features. To get to this section product sales, we'll just click product sales in the left side menu and the first thing we'll just see is a list of all the products in the shop. Uh, at the top right here we can choose the date period we're looking at. So in this case we're looking at the last six months. We can change that up here and we're comparing it uh, to the last six months but in the previous year, so 2022. Uh, if you wanted to change that, for example, to the previous six months before that, we can click period and then that'll update all the growth numbers to that. Uh, from this page, we can just see all the products in the shop. So we've got 31 products. We've got some totals down the bottom. So just looking at all the products on this page, we can see the total net item revenue, a number of uh, products sold, the stock. And then you'll notice here a few extra columns, COGS, net profit, and margin. These are here for this store because we've set up a metrics cost feature. So we can actually see for each product, uh, not just sales numbers, but the cost of goods sold in that period, the net profit, the margin, and for each of those metrics, the growth. Uh, from this page, you know, you're just seeing all your products by default and we're sorting it um, by net sold descending order, but you can change that if you wanted to, for example, view it by title in ascending order, you can do that. There's a bunch of other options here to choose the ordering. F searching here, so we can search here just to filter the product list, for example, Alice, and then we're just seeing one product. And we also have access to the product segmenting system. So a bunch of filters um, such as title, SKU, category, stock quantity, but also things like the price or the weight. Um, all of these filters can be used to filter which products are showing on this page. So for example, I could pop in a filter here like uh, current price is between 25 40. And we'll see if we can narrow down the list a bit. So now we're down to 24 products. And from this page, you can click onto any product that you want to see just the sales for. So 105 sales for this product, but I can click onto it and then see those 105 sales over time on the chart. We're looking at monthly here, but we can change that to daily or weekly. And some overall numbers for that period. So how many were sold, net revenue, but also the cost, profit, and margin. As we scroll down, we'll start to see some other options here. So we've got the frequently bought with report just for this product, the Alice Coltrane product. It's frequently bought with these other records and how many times. Uh, down here we can see sales for that product grouped by attributes such as the billing, shipping details, payment method, uh, customer role. Down here we can see sales by day, by hour. So useful if you just wanna see most popular day or hour for a certain product to be sold and the orders created in the period that include the product. So um, yeah, a couple things to mention here, right? With this uh, chart, you've got the chart here, but you can also export it if you wanted to, and you can download it. So this is a useful feature if you wanted to get an image of a chart to share outside of metric. Choose a background color or something custom here. We can change the title, so if it's a bit long. Control if the y-axis is showing the title dates. And when you're done, you can download that to have an image to share outside a metric. We also have a forecasting feature, which is quite useful. So if I was to make this uh, weekly, and then I wanted to forecast it out, I can click the little button here. And metric will try to predict the sales for the product based on seasonal trends and things like that. Uh, from here, we've got on the left, the category and the brand. So I'll show you the category page from here. So clicking on Jazz, we can now see 16 products in that category. And that whole report that we're just looking at for a certain product, we can see it for the whole category. So now we're looking at monthly sales for the entire category, overall cost, profit, margin, sales grouped by various attributes and more. Uh, we can use this page to click into a different product as well. And, and speaking of categories, so we actually have a categories page here on the left. And from here, you can just see all the categories or collections that your store has. Uh, and the stats for each category. So we could see, for example, Laden has had 447 sold versus Pop 268. We can click onto either one and see those 447 uh, over time with the chart and grouped by various filters. From the left, you've got a, a few other options um, such as like groups. Groups are a feature um, in metric for creating your own custom product groups to report on. So think of them like categories, but internal categories that customers will never see. This doesn't impact your store at all. It's just a feature in metric. But when you have, you want to create a group of similar products to 
look at the sales combined, this feature is really useful. So for example, I can click create group, just say a certain group, and then I can start to add products into it. You can add um, products or variations of a product. We can create that. And you can create as many groups as you like, and then they'll all be on this one page where you can see the sales for them together. So here we've got, for those three products, a total of 306 sold, and then the sales for each product here, and then the chart. So it's, yeah, quite quite useful and similar to categories, but again, like completely custom within metric. And um, while categories are something that you define on your store and customers might see, brands are similar. They're like, um, Brands or vendors, depending if you're using Woo or Shopify, um, we're automatically grouping your products by the brand, so you can see the sales stats just for certain brands. So before I jump into some of the other reports we have here, I want to show you a really useful feature. If we're just looking at the last six months of sales here, that's great, but what if we wanted to see sales just from a certain uh, country or something like that? To do that, we're going to click this segment report button at the top. By clicking onto that, we're going to get access to all these various order filters. So for example, as I mentioned, country, we can apply filters such as that. We could say Australia or United Kingdom. Click update and you'll see the numbers will get a bit lower as we're just looking at orders from those regions now. And you can just keep stacking filters here. So we could, for example, say, okay, well, I only want to see orders with a total over 100. And it starts to get a little lower. I might add in another country here, such as US. And then we can add other filters, such as perhaps payment method. So we could say, okay, well, I just want to see the product sales for Australia, UK, US orders over $100 that were paid by credit card. We don't have any for that, so perhaps let's try a couple others. And the nice thing about this uh, system is that, so now you can see here, there's only three sold that match all those filters for this product. If we click onto that product, those filters are still applied. So you're actually getting the entire report, but just for that, uh, those filters. So yeah, really useful for just like kind of zeroing in on your data and narrowing it down to certain types of orders. Uh, some other product reports that are really valuable. So top sellers here is similar to these, but just kind of groups all your products, variations, and categories on a single page. So it can be useful. Uh, bought together is similar to what we saw in a single product before, but for all the products in your shop. So I'll get rid of these filters and we'll just look at all sales in the last six months. And we can see for basically different combinations on the shop, uh, the frequency. So the combination of this product, Dave Pike and the Sound of Soul, was bought 13 times. So 13 different orders had the combination of these two products. And that'll just keep going. So there's quite a few. If we click on that, give it a moment to load, and we'll have a list of 300 plus combinations and the frequency. And you can export this if you want to work with it outside of metric. Uh, the stock velocity report is quite useful for figuring out how much stock you have left and when it's going to run out. So we determine the daily uh, gross number sold over the last 30, 60, 90 days, up to you. And then using that and the current stock, we can estimate when the stock will run out. So, you know, here, for example, right, and I'm actually changed the ordering. So let's say days of stock is how we want to order it. So these are in back order, these are an issue, but perhaps down here we can see um, this product has three in stock. On average, it sells 0.65 a day, so five days of stock, and we're estimating today is October 17, so we're estimating by the 21st of October, this product would run out of stock. While down here we can see there's a bit more stock and maybe a bit less sales frequency, so a longer amount of days of stock left. You can see this for products and for variations. So if you sell specific variations, I don't have any on the shop, uh, you'd be able to see the days of stock and velocity for all those variations. We also have here uh, a compare products report. So this is useful for just selecting a handful of specific products or variations and comparing the sales over time just for those products. Uh, here we're looking at it monthly, but we could also look at it weekly. And we're looking at net sold. We can change that to, for example, net revenue if we want to view that on the chart. And you can do the same thing with categories. So I can go in here and choose a handful of categories and I'll load in the sales for that. 
So, um, yeah, a couple other things to mention before we finish off this video. Whenever it comes to any of these reports, you can export it. So if you want to set up an export of these 31 products and the sales for the last six months, you can do that by clicking here and download it instantly or set, have it emailed to you. I hope you find this um, feature useful. Uh, there's, there's quite a lot to it and a lot of it will depend on your store. So I definitely encourage you to get your store connected um, and have a play around with it. And yeah, let us know if you have any feedback or any questions. We're here and we'd love to help you get value out of this feature. Thanks for watching.